Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to All on Deck, the Steam Deck Show. All dedicated to the Valve Steam Deck. And this one is going to be a special, momentous event, guys, because especially if you've been following me, you know this bad boy showed up. My reservation of the Valve Steam Deck. That's right. Super happy now to (laughs) have the Steam Deck and run this show and actually have a unit to have in the Murray and J08 house. So, got this nice silicone case on it. Nice grips. Really nice case. I, I'll ha- I'll probably have a Sean checks it out where I talk in depth. There's a, a tempered glass a screen protector on this, and then I got the terabyte card in here. So I bought a couple cards. I got a 256, I got a 512. So we're loaded with memory. Got the case. Got the case. Um... I'm sure you've seen my PC set up, my docking station set up. If you if not, go check it out. It's got the curved monitor, my RGB LED light set up, my mouse, keyboard, speakers. I bought these suckers. Another headset, wood grain headset. And I am set. I am all set to go. So, Steam Deck in hand. That changes everything, right, guys? Because now I got developers calling me. I got stuff I'm testing behind the scenes. I got stuff I could check out right away. I'm doing a lot of testing, a lot of reviews, a lot of comparisons, working on a lot of videos. And the cool thing is, if you check the playlist for All on Deck, even episodes, even stuff that is not an All on Deck episode, I'm sticking in that playlist. So if it's Steam-related... Steam Deck related, it's going to be in that playlist. I'm going to be doing sales, Steam Deck sales, Steam sales for the holidays, for special events, anything that you guys should know about, the top best games on Steam, uh, what works great on Steam Deck, the best verified games, games that aren't verified but work. We got a whole season coming up of All on Deck that it's all planned out. So... Lots of exciting stuff, lots of exciting coverage, and this show is just starting. This show is just booming because I got the Steam Deck on hand now. Everybody said, oh, you know, we want a full review. That's going to take time. I want to be fair. But I can do an initial impressions now that I've had the actual deck um, in my hand and I've tried over 100 games already. I have it in the thousands of Steam games across multiple accounts. I've been with Steam since the beginning. Um, remember, I used to be a huge, big PC player. Um, and then when Steam came around, I just was downloading it and buying everything. So I was surprised to see so many verified games and um, uh, so many... Now with Proton, well, we'll get into, into that in a minute, but there's so many games that are not supported that work. Almost everything that I tried, to some extent, works just not optimal as some others and some of the verified games, but I mean, I've been able to play everything. Very soon, I'm going to be having an all-on-deck special where I talk about emulation because this is going to become the number one emulation device. I have built this the past few days specifically for emulation. I've stuck thousands of ROMs on here. I've been messing with different emulators. I've been messing with different systems. It's huge. It's it's just huge. The 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 um, support for emulation on this device is to another level. You know, I'm a big fan of a lot of the handhelds, like the MiU Mini, Retro Pi on, on the computer, and and all these other s- systems. This has become insane between. Steam and and Linux and RetroArch and Emulation Station and 
and MU deck and Dolphin. This is just an absolute dream come true. The amount of customization, but we're going to get to that in a special on its own episode, maybe coming up next. So, and plus now, you know, when I dock it at my desktop, I have, I turned that into an, an emulation area. It's like Super Nintendo, sure. NES, sure. Turbo Graphics, I got the sound system on. It's insane. It's like a mini arcade. And the games look fantastic. So I've been really messing with emulation. I've been messing with ROMs. Um, initial impressions, now that I have the deck in hand. I absolutely love it. I'm going to tell you this right now. It's exceeded my expectations by a mile. And that's for shizzle. Now, I... I can't, I, as many podcasts and channels that I've watched through the year, and as long as I've been waiting for this and, and, and keeping up with it, of course, having it reserved, I thought to myself, well, there's going to be some letdowns. There's going to be some things that I'm not that crazy about. There's going to be some things that aren't going to be as optimal. I was... I'm still being blown away in ways that I didn't even think I could. This is really a game changer. Because now you're talking about a whole different space. And I know it's not considered a console, but you got to understand something. Even when you talk about the, the, the whole industry in gaming you have pcs but now you have pcs you have consoles you have the playstation 5 you have the series x the switch but now you have the steam deck i mean it really is its own thing for example look at the playstation games coming to steam a pc for example spider-man remastered now you got people on PC saying, hey, look, I'm playing it with an Xbox controller. But now you got people with a Steam Deck playing it on by hand. Um, people playing Horizon, Zero Dawn, uh, Death Stranding. How about Xbox? Did you ever think you'd be able to play an Xbox game in your hand? How about Horizon uh, Forza Horizon 5? How about Halo Infinite now? You also have something called Proton. Proton GE, Glorious Egg Roll. I'm not kidding, look it up. With Glorious Egg Roll, you have basically the ability to go beyond Steam and play games that aren't technically verified, that run as an emulator for Windows. Of course, you can run Windows on it, and dual boot this thing. But now with Proton, it's you could run things that normally you couldn't run. Um, and some of the games run better. And there's different Protons. There's experimental. I think it's up to what, 29 now? And the games run incredible. So it's it's just an all-in-one machine. They're doing switch emulation now. And you know, and now people are docking it to their television. They're they got a computer set up like me. Well, not as good as me, but so it's just incredible. This is a game changer, in my opinion. How what about computer uh geeks or People that have been wanting to get into computers for so long but didn't want to worry about the technical aspect of it and building it and worry about RAM and worry about what graphic card do I buy and I got to update this driver. Not with this. There's, there is a little bit of that, a little bit of technical stuff. You can get geeky with it. You know, you can mess with frames per second. Now there's ways. 
there's ways where you can actually change settings where you could get hours of extra battery life. Where with like a switch, you couldn't do that. The customization and the ability to go beyond the default settings is just incredible. And who knows what the future is going to be like with future updates and more things coming to PC and more things coming to Steam. We're going to be seeing so much, so much interesting things um, with the Steam Deck already from what I'm seeing. Now, don't forget, I'm already a couple months in, so they've already roughed out or smoothed out a lot of the rough edges which is cool by the time I got it, but there's still so much more to go. But even in early stages of the life of this machine, it's so damn awesome. You get, a, you get your regular desktop mode. You get your full computer. You get your browser. <clears throat> you can watch whatever, Netflix, YouTube. You got the Discovery Store. You got the Link, um, Linux. You can do whatever you want on it. You have the freedom to mod it. Um, you have the freedom to dual boot an operating system. I've been messing with emulation. It's just, it's like an open source machine to do whatever you want. Um, Non-Steam games. Mugens. Whatever you want to put and run on it. It's been handling everything and it's just incredible. It's incredible. God of War. Old PC games, like PC games that I grew up with. Myst, Police Quest, Doom, um, King's Quest, Quake, Unreal, Duke Nukem. It's awesome. You can put cover artwork to all your emulated games. You could tweak them. You could make it like you want. You could have an whole, an, a whole entire retro area added to your Steam UI. It's, it's, it's just, um, it's wild. It's wild, and it just takes PC gaming to another level, you know? And... I think it's definitely something not just for the geeks, but also for whoever. And yeah, it's a plus if you already got a big Steam library. But let me tell you something. See, a lot of times, see, I'm a collector, and I'm always going to be a collector, and I'm always going to be full-on physical. But I've bought so much more digital lately than I ever have. And yeah, I'm huge in the eShop. I'm huge on PSN. But I've probably spent more money than ever recently on Steam than I ever have just because of the Steam Deck. But I'll tell you why. Steam sales are absolutely incredible where they're almost dangerous. See, to me, digital, one of the downfalls of digital is there's no gain to physical because the price is not different. It's always the regular price. Where with Steam, they have 80% off, 90% off. I bought a bundle of games. There were like 10 games for like 12 bucks. They have these humble bundles. I think I bought like three, four Batman games for $11. Uh, all three Bioshock games for like 10 bucks. Where can you get that? Um, it, I've never seen anything like it. My library was all bought on sale, not full price. So you're never going to pay full price for anything. Maybe out of the gate, but if you wait or, or wait for a sale or a holiday, Steam is constantly having a sale. They always have an excuse Oh, it's the weekend. Oh, it's the 4th of July. Oh, it's the summer. Oh, it's the fall. Oh, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, it's New Year's. You constantly, constantly have sales on Steam. And the sales aren't just a dollar or two off. They're big. They're huge sales. 
And it's just incredible, and it's an incredible thing. So that's a plus. So first impressions, the prices of the games that you're going to buy on Steam are incredible. Oh, you get points. You get this thing called Steam Points, where you can get digital goods. Now, do I wish you could put them towards Steam games like you can on the eShop? Yeah, but you can't. But what you can do is you could do things for your customization, like avatars, and you could do like, um. oh, one of the cool backdrops for your profile. One of the cool things is, and I'm obsessed with it, is keyboard layouts, keyboard themes. You could buy alternate keyboard themes. The coolest thing. I'll have to have a video um, showing my keyboard themes off. But that's it. That's my first impressions. I'm really happy. I can't wait to see what the future is. And so far, I highly recommend the Steam Deck. I think it is a game changer. And I just, I just think it's incredible. <coughs> I just think it's a great device. It's a fun device. It's a pleasant device. And, uh, yeah, if you've got a big Steam library, you are already uh, ready to go. And the verifications are just growing. They're just building. And, hey, even if it ain't verified, check it out. Proton Glorious Egg Roll, or as I like to call it, gl Glorious Egg Plant, could run it with the Proton. Until the next All on Deck, we got big things coming to the sta uh, station. We got big things coming to the series. So stay tuned and take care. And thank you for joining me.